Are you looking to be a cybersecurity engineer? Are you working in a different IT occupation and are looking to transition into the cyber domain? If you're feeling stuck, lacking motivation, or don't have a clear pathway, this video is perfect for you. This is a five minute cybersecurity roadmap that I will be delivering with only facts and a tried and tested formula on how you can be a successful cybersecurity engineer. My name is Royden and I work as a cybersecurity professional in Melbourne, Australia. And I have tutored and mentored a lot of students get their first job within cybersecurity and also help people transition from different domains into the cyber domain. Hence, I'm making this roadmap, which is not going to be based on you spending a lot of money and all of that stuff. It's just a tried and tested formula that actually works. I started it off with myself started off at the help desk and eventually worked my way up into a pretty successful cybersecurity career. So make sure you watch this video till the end because at the end of the video, I'll also be sharing like a bonus tip with you. So yeah, watch it like a movie, make sure you watch it till the end and let's get started. The first thing that you've got to burn into your mentality is that if you want to be a successful cybersecurity engineer or if you want to get your first cybersecurity role, you don't start studying cybersecurity. What I mean by this is, You've got to first start doing the fundamentals that gives you a good foundation to then start a career in cybersecurity. The foundational domains that set you up for success within cybersecurity are operating systems, traditionally Linux operating systems, but also Windows because a lot of organizations, they use Windows at a huge scale. After operating systems, you've got to do networking. Yes. Networking or network engineering is pretty important when it comes to cybersecurity. And there are a lot of networking concepts that are crucial to then understanding the equivalent cybersecurity concepts. You've also got to do databases. Today, applications, systems, they all have databases connected to them. And cybersecurity is also pretty important when it comes to securing these applications with databases. There are a lot of attacks that take place focusing towards applications and databases, hence, you've got to know the foundations and fundamentals of databases as well. Now, speaking about these three foundational domains for Linux, there are free YouTube resources on how you can learn Linux for cybersecurity. The link is going to be in the description for those courses. So do check it out. Similarly for networking now, because I come from a networking background, I can tell you that you need to know how to read Wireshark logs. You need to know all basics of networking in terms of routing switching. You don't need to go too much in depth. I wouldn't recommend you to do the CCNA level of stuff for knowing networking for cybersecurity, but the CompTIA Network Plus is a great starting point. And for that, Professor Messer has got a free YouTube playlist that once again is in the description of this video. Do check it out and get your foundations of networking pretty solid. After this, coming to databases, and in order to cover databases, once again, there's a free YouTube playlist, which is in the description. Learn it, make notes, and ensure that your foundations with Linux, networking, and databases are pretty strong. If you want to do any relevant certifications for these three domains, what I'd recommend you to do is you can do the CompTIA Network Plus. I wouldn't recommend any certifications for Linux or databases, but the Network Plus is a good certification. Um, if you want, I've also got a tie up with the zero to mastery. Uh, the link is going to be in the description to their courses as well. You can sign up to zero to mastery. They've got the CompTIA Network Plus and CompTIA Security Plus courses fully covered on their platform. So you can do check it out. If not, you can also always refer to Professor Messer because it's completely free. Once you do these foundational level concepts correctly, that is when you now finally go into learning cybersecurity. The CompTIA Security Plus is a great starting point. Now, once again, I'm not asking you to go and do the certification, but at least do the course or the syllabus associated with this exam. On this channel, I've got a complete video on a study plan for the CompTIA Network Plus and Security Plus, do check it out. Speaking about the CompTIA Security Plus, make sure you do it. It covers a lot of cybersecurity domains, uh, including network security, application security, system security, risk, compliance, etc. And once you do step one and step two, I'm pretty confident that your theoretical coverage of these concepts to be a successful cybersecurity engineer will be pretty good. To be a good cybersecurity engineer, barring some of the uh, domains within cybersecurity like GRC, which don't need a lot of hands-on stuff, you must do practical labs if you want to be a successful cybersecurity engineer. Now, some of the labs that I will be recommending are SIEM labs. Make sure you build firewalls. Make sure you learn how to use Wireshark. 
make sure you also do try hack me or hack the box labs but i've made a video on this channel which covers five cybersecurity free projects that you can do to give you that practical hands-on experience whether you want to be a SOC analyst a network security engineer uh, if you want to go into penetration testing it gives you a complete idea of what cybersecurity is from a practical perspective and speaking about the bonus tip I've got a PDF document which documents this complete roadmap, which is in the description. There's going to be a link which is titled um, Cybersecurity Roadmap. You can download that, whatever I've spoken, all the links, everything is in that one consolidated document. Getting into cybersecurity is not difficult. It's pretty easy if you follow this tried and tested formula. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, drop a like comment what you think about the different things I've discussed and uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.